And we have some new exciting discoveries from our own galaxy, the Milky Way. A very unexpected discovery of super ancient structures that seem to be around the galaxy and were most likely always there, we just didn't really know how to find them. The structures that you can kind of see right here. And the structures that seem to be all over the Milky Way galaxy and do resemble just a regular part of the Milky Way. But in this case, these are actually stellar streams, a linked association of stars orbiting the galaxy that back in the days was probably some kind of a galaxy of its own or maybe a globular cluster. But what's exciting about this discovery is the age. They seem to be the oldest ever found, potentially 12 to 13 billion years old. In other words, representing some of the earliest structures formed inside the Milky Way. And so, hello wonderful person, this is Anton. Let's discuss this new discovery and why it's important, focusing on what exactly these structures represent and what they mean for our understanding of our own galaxy. But first, stellar streams. There are actually quite a lot of videos in the description talking more about this, but in essence these are structures in existence around the Milky Way and represent some of the ancient leftovers as the galaxy was being built up from various individual pieces. Researchers have already found dozens and dozens of them and here are some of the new ones discovered just over a year ago. And they all essentially represent ancient tiny galaxies, ancient globular clusters and basically leftovers that eventually got destroyed by tidal forces from the Milky Way and became part of our galaxy. And we naturally know they exist around other galaxies as well, suggesting that this is a universal mechanism. Here's one around NGC 5387. But generally, these stellar streams represent some of the more recent additions to the galaxy when the galaxy was already massive enough to destroy smaller objects. Or essentially, all of these streams are some of the more recent leftovers from various destroyed objects. But now we have Gaia Telescope. And Gaia is surprisingly good at finding things we never thought possible. And so once again, by tracking billions of stars across the Milky Way, it helped the researchers behind the recent study to link millions of individual objects into two separate structures. Never before seen structures and really ancient structures. Structures that, at least for now, have been nicknamed Shiva and Shakti. Named after a divine Hindu couple whose merger in Hindu mythology is supposed to bring peace and harmony. But unlike previous stellar streams, these seem to be ancient. They seem to have merged with the Milky Way between 12 and 13 billion years ago, very likely representing some of the first formation pieces inside our galaxy. Or basically representing a kind of a foundation for the entire Milky Way. And they're actually really massive, each containing approximately 10 million solar masses and mass and millions of stars each. But because all of these stars seem to contain a relatively similar composition and are very similar in age, orbit in a very similar way, they seem to be a part of the same structure. And this actually confirms that the Milky Way, in the beginning of its existence, potentially collided dozens of times with various galaxies. And each of these individual mergers most likely resulted in a major star formation, and it's these stars that formed 12 to 13 billion years ago that we now see inside these structures. But naturally, this is not the first time Gaia discovered something about the origin of the Milky Way. In the last decade or so, it's already helped us understand that in the beginning, it had some really powerful collisions with, for example, so-called Gaia Sausage Dwarf Galaxy, whose leftovers we still see inside the Milky Way as well. But in this case, Shiva and Shakti structures seem to be at least two to maybe even three billion years older. Basically being the leftovers from some of the earliest collisions in the history of the Milky Way and possibly just being leftovers from some of the earliest galaxies Milky Way collided with. And what's even more interesting about this discovery is just their overall position and the overall shape. So for example, compared to that Gaia sausage collision or even other collisions from billions of years ago, which are generally very close to the center of the galaxy, here the observations are much farther away. And Shakti's stars, visible in purple, orbit even further away from the center compared to the more circular orbit from Shiva. So it's quite possible that the farther stars are maybe a little bit older, but Shiva's stars, the ones in green, seem to have a much more circular orbit, potentially implying slightly different formation histories and obviously implying that they came from two separate objects. But both of these contain some of the oldest stars in the Milky Way, with each of them being at least 12 billion years old. And that by itself is already pretty impressive. Basically, each of those millions of stars very likely contain a lot of different secrets. And each of those stars are extremely metal poor. 
And what's even more intriguing, a lot of these stars very likely formed even before the galaxy assumed its shape, before the galactic arms and before the disk became the disk. Which is also why you can kind of see them not really orbiting in the same plane of orbit. They all very likely formed when the Milky Way galaxy was still irregular in its shape. Back then the Milky Way galaxy was just a collection of different filaments of gas and a much larger dust cloud that eventually coalesced creating various over densities which then started forming stars orbiting in all sorts of way around the center. With all of this initially happening for billions of years and it's only after a few billion years that the galaxy finally started to stabilize its shape. In this simulation right here you see that even 8 billion years ago the Milky Way was still a very chaotic place. This is actually the time when a lot of star formation was taking place with the galaxy itself growing at exponential pace. And some of these collisions, like the ones you see right here, potentially resulted in the formation of the Sun as well. Our Sun, along with a lot of different stars, formed relatively suddenly during one of the active star forming periods of the Milky Way galaxy. Milky Way, like a lot of other galaxies, tend to go through these star forming stages every few billion years, or whenever the galaxy gets disturbed by something from the outside. And so these two new structures potentially represent some kind of a irregular gas filament, or maybe even ancient galaxies, that collided with the Milky Way very early on. But what's really surprising is just the fact that it was even discovered. They basically just look like regular stars somewhere out there in a the galaxy. But Guy was able to track them, identify their composition, discover their motion, with the researchers connecting the dots and realizing that it's all part of the same structure. One of the other structures also discovered by Gaia Telescope. Here are actually some of the more famous ones and they're all essentially very likely ancient galaxies that the Milky Way absorbed over time. But if you were to try to imagine this across the night skies, looking at all of this from planet Earth, it would possibly look something like this. You can sort of see some of these leftovers as individual streams and you can also see some of the global clusters representing the centers of these ancient objects, with a lot of them resembling something like this. An extremely long stream of stars with some kind of a dense concentration that used to be the center. And so since 2014, in the last decade, Gaia allowed us to finally understand how the Milky Way formed over time by identifying individual pieces of the galaxy and even connecting them in terms of a timeline by figuring out which of these structures are older and which ones most likely came first. One of the videos in the description talks a little bit more about this, but in essence by looking at the age of stars and the age of globular clusters, researchers were able to work out the overall timeline of various galactic collisions. As you can see in this image, one of the most recent ones was with Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy. The galaxy that you see right there and that we've discussed in some of the videos recently. A galaxy whose heart is now one of the clusters in the Milky Way, Messier 54. But also a galaxy that's important for a different reason. It might have been responsible for causing the formation of the Sun. And so in other words, because of the collision with the Milky Way roughly around 5 billion years ago, it caused a major star formation which then formed the Sun and planet Earth. But you can learn more about this in one of the videos in the description. And so all of these discoveries from Gaia Telescope in just the last 10 years helped us understand the Milky Way so much better. We know so much more about the history of the galaxy and we've learned so much more about its formation. But in this case, other than finding these structures, we don't really know how they connect with the history just yet or how they influence the evolution of the Milky Way. Mostly because this is a brand new discovery. Now I'm sure we're going to find out more in some of the future studies and obviously some of the future videos, but until then, Thank you for watching, subscribe, check out all of the links in the description below, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.